Stereo blindness, also stereo blindness, is the inability to see in 3D using stereopsis, or stereo vision, resulting in an inability to perceive stereoscopic depth by combining and comparing images from the two eyes. Individuals with only one functioning eye always have this condition, the condition also results when two eyes do not function together properly. Stereo blind persons with two healthy eyes do employ binocular vision to some extent, albeit less than persons with normally developed eyesight. This was shown in a study in which stereo blind subjects were posed with the task of judging the direction of rotation of a simulated transparent cylinder the subjects performed better when using two eyes than when using their preferred eye. They appeared to judge the direction of rotation from the images in each eye separately and then to combine these judgments, rather than relying on differences between the images in the two eyes. Also, purely binocular motion stimuli appear to influence stereo blind person's sensation of self-motion. Furthermore, in some cases each eye can contribute to peripheral vision for one side of the field of view, See also monofixation syndrome. Notable cases. It has been suggested that Dutch old master Rembrandt may have been stereo blind, which would have aided him in flattening what he saw for the production of 2D works. Scientists have suggested that more artists seem to have stereo blindness when compared with a sample of people with stereo acuteness, normal stereo vision. British neurologist Oliver Sacks lost his stereoscopic vision in 2009 due to a malignant tumor in his right eye and had no remaining vision in that eye. His loss of stereo vision was recounted in his book The Mind's Eye, published in October 2010. In 2012 one case of stereo blindness was reportedly cured by watching a 3D film. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.